I think it's given me a lot more confidence to, to look into the future and see what might happen and how I can deal with it without having a meltdown and thinking, oh, well, I can't do this. And, you know, it, it makes it quite a lot less scary and it kind of brings home that you aren't the only person in that situation, that everyone with children's going to go through it. It makes you think as a parent and the way you are as a parent, it definitely makes you think about how you parent. That's been a benefit, come on. It's just... been quite surprising mm -hmm. because I see you thought you were doing things certain ways and then this makes you realise you're not. And so it's, it's good for modifying your own behaviour more than the child. Well, I can now deal with my stress and my peer pressure, so I can do deal with like a lot of arguments and that and I know how to make sure that I don't get into any trouble and that's it. The parts I've found most helpful are learning to take a wee step back and listen to Jennifer's point of view and being a bit more sympathetic to her age. I have found the I statements really valuable um, and the family meetings have been really good and positive as well. The privileges week and the points weeks that they were, you know, take away our privilege for bad behaviour and, you know, keep them, you know, doing a points chart with them so that they gain privileges and rewards. I found the family sessions valuable because it teaches you what to do when you want something but you have to compromise with your ideas. The session helped me get along with my parents better is because when my mum like sometimes I get a bit of like annoyed or something when my mum's maybe seeing things but I don't understand why she gets angry and thing but seeing it from her point of view it helps me to understand and I've changed my behaviour a bit to, you know, so it's fair for both of us. Well, the goals that I set was I wanted to concentrate more at school and to work harder. To go to space and be a good footballer. I've set goals about, like, try not to talk back to my mum. Just try and, like, stay calm in bits and, uh try and behave as much as possible. The goal that I set was to become um, a vet when I'm older um, and I would achieve that by going to veterinary school and maybe looking after my pets more like cleaning out their cages and stuff like that. You know I, I just kind of live in the present and deal with what I have to do, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I hadn't really given the future too much thought of any forthcoming possible problems, you know, when kids become teenagers they can, like I've already mentioned, get involved in things like drinking or smoking. Um, so it's made me take that kind of long-term view and think of what if that happens and here's things you can do to deal with it. So it's good to feel that I have that information now at my fingertips and hopefully I'll remember to use it. Um, I would say it's um, just, you know, the way to, in which to communicate with my daughter um, and just, you know, help me to, to understand that what she's going through and try to put myself in her shoes and, and understand what she's going through as well. So it's communication and it, it's explaining to her as well what she's going through and why she's going through it as well. So she has an understanding to, to what's happening to her. I think I'm quite prepared for peer pressure and some other stuff. So I think I'll be fine in the future. I'd say um, definitely come along um, and attend. It's been really useful. I have definitely taken away something every single week, even if it's something small. I've found that it has worked. It's brought us as a family, you know, together. Um, so yeah, just come along and give it a go. It's been really valuable. You know, if you feel that your child is attitude in any way or is struggling with peer pressure at school or chore, you know, do it, they'll give you good advice and help you, definitely. 
mm. go for it. Do, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, seven weeks has gone in a flash. I can't believe that it's just been seven weeks. It has been great. It's built my daughter's confidence a lot, I would say. It's made me feel more confident in myself. And you, you get fed. You even get a taxi if you can't make your way to the creche as well. There isn't any reason why you couldn't do it. It will help your relationship with your child, ultimately. It's really good. It's, it, you get a fun time out of it. I mean, we've had a lot of laughs. Um, I almost died laughing once, literally. You tell them um, you to tag along because it helps you deal with a lot of things and it's just fun.